So what I'm going to show you guys to do today is how to make your own granola by scratch. It is something that is so easy and simple to do. Completely delicious and you can twist and tweak the ingredients as much as you want. So to start with, you need two cups of rolled oats. So I love a mixture of seeds and nuts here. So I've just got over half a cup of nuts that I'm just going to add in. For this recipe, because I, I do love chocolate, I've got some cacao, so I've got two tablespoons there. As well, you do need that tiny, tiny bit of sea salt just in there. I've got some vanilla essence that I'm going to put through because I do love that. I've put about a tablespoon in there. I've, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of coconut syrup. So this will give a really wonderful flavour as well. Just for that extra little bit of sweetness, I'm just going to put in one tablespoon of honey and this looks incredible. Just one tablespoon through there. And then for to bind it all together, what I've chosen to use for this particular recipe is coconut oil. So I've got a third of a cup of coconut oil. So as you can see, this is how easy it is and it's really just as simple as just combining those ingredients there. You can see the cacao really just giving it that nice brown colour. Just so long as you get the syrups covering the oat, just blend it through so everything's covered and mixed well together. All it really is now is a case of putting it over some baking paper like I've got here and you just have to make it flat so that you can get all the areas of the uh, oats exposed in the oven. And then this will go into the oven for 12 minutes. Okay, and there it is. for 12 minutes so I'm just going to grab it out now. I had it in the oven at 180 degrees so you can just see how time efficient this is as well. And here I've got granola that I've made myself that smells absolutely incredible. It's got the wonderful flavours all through it that I love and I'm just going to let it cool and rest and once it's rested put it in an air airtight container. I will personally have this probably with a little bit of uh, maple syrup, maybe in some yogurt um, and a tiny bit of plant-based milk. You can have it on its own and enjoy it any way you want.